Okay, so now that we've successfully installed all the packages, the next thing we need to do will be to write some data to our Firebase database. So what we want to achieve will be to add a button. So when we click on the button, we're going to save some data to our database, which is going to say connection successful. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to my toolbox. I'm going to drag the button element. I'm going to drag it to our view controller. So I can delete the hello world label. Okay, so every single UI element has its own properties. So I'm going to go to the property window and edit the properties of this button. So instead of having this button, I'm going to have test. So I'm going to name our button test button. So instead of having it to be plain, I'm going to change um, the background to say black. All right. So this is just for test. Now the next thing I need to do, which is very important, is to change or rename our view controller. So we want to ensure that our view controller is very generic. So if this view controller is going to be for login, that means that this page is going to be a login page. So the appropriate way to name our view controller is not to just have the name to be view controller. So I'm going to select this view controller by clicking this dark bar here. And I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to change the class instead of it to be view controller. So I'm going to change this to login view controller. So in this way, we will now be very certain that this view controller is responsible for everything that has to do with our login page. And also, if you go to the solution explorer, you can see that a new file has been generated for us. So this is because there are two sides to app development. We have the user interface and we have the coding part of things. That's why this file has been generated for us. So it means that we no longer have need for our view controller. So I can go ahead and remove this. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and write some code so that when we click on the test button, it will go ahead and save some data to our Firebase database. So we can either double click on this or we can go into our login view controller and we're going to create an override for view did load. Right, so the view did load method, just like the name says, executes all the commands that we have here. Immediately, our view has been properly loaded. So, all we want to do here will be to attach a click event handler to our test button. So, to do that, I'm going to say test button dot touch up inside. So, I'm going to have plus equal to to create an event handler. So this is where we're going to write the code that is going to save the data to our Firebase database. So to do that, I need to first of all create a database reference. So a database reference is a part to where you want to save your data. So every single information saved on Firebase database always has a reference. So we need to first of all create a database reference. So I'm going to go ahead and resolve this. Okay, so I'm going to call this reference. This is going to be equal to database dot default instance dot get root reference dot get child. So the child is the part of where you want to save your information. So the child is going to be test. All right. So this is going to be um, the part to where we want to save this information. So what do we want to save to this reference? So I simply want to save connection is successful. So I'm going to go ahead and type reference dot set value and the type of value we want to set is ns string. So this is more like a basic way of doing this. So we're going to have ns string and we're going to go ahead and write what we want to save to this reference. So all we want to save here is going to be connection is successful all right so this is basically all we need to do now to confirm that this works we're going to go ahead and run our app on the simulator okay so our app is starting up and boom 
So we're going to go ahead and click on the test button and we expect to see um, connection is successful saved to our Firebase database. So I'm going to go ahead and click on test. Bam! So as you can see, test connection is successful. So with this, we are now very certain that our Firebase connection is very successful. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.